around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you must be crazy going around talking like that. Yeah, I want a man to give up his gun. You ain't hardly decent. I assure you, I'm in my right mind. <laughs> Why, it would be a protection to all. A <laughs> protection? It'd be like inviting your old killing. That's right, Zach. A man wouldn't be safe. Oh, he'd be safer. Now, you notice that I don't have a gun. Yeah, and, and you ain't safe, mister. <laughs> no one attempts to assault me. Well, well, what did you do if they did? Yeah, what would you uh, do? Well, no one has any reason. Well, what did you do if somebody pushed you? You like that? Huh? And knocked you off your feet like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd walk away from you. Oh, you, you, you'd have to get up first. <laughs> now, a, a gun would have come in handy now, wouldn't it, huh? <laughs> All right, hold on there. Leave <laughs> that man alone. Well, he kicked him. Yeah, bless him. You he, he, uh, hey, hey. Well, let go of me now. That other fellow's running off. Let him go. Uh, well, you should all let go of me too, Marshal. We wasn't doing nothing. You don't think knocking an old man down is anything, huh? Why, he was talking crazy, Marshal. So you knocked him down and kicked him? Well, you want to take our guns away, Marshal. I bet you were scared to death. I'm sure you thought he ain't coming around, Mr. Dillon. All right, Chester, you better go get Doc. Well, well, what about me? From now on, you get out of here. But if anything serious is wrong with this man, I'll come after you. Yeah. Yeah, sure, Marshal, but we didn't mean no harm. Now, go on. Or I change my mind. You know, you better put your foot up on the rail, Kitty. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Having a drink at the bar is illegal without doing that. Oh, I mean that. Is it legal to stand here without drinking at all? Hey, you'd know more about that than I would since you own the place. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to charge everybody for just standing around your back. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry. Your customers don't waste much time without glasses in their hands. Mm, sometimes I wish they would. Get a safe wear and tear. Hello, Oh, Matt. Hello, Doc. Oh, hello, Doc. You gonna give me one of your old jokes about how you knew you'd find me wasting time in here? <laughs> no, not today. No. It's so hot outside that this is the only sensible place to be. Even for you. Hey, better remember he said that, Matt. It may never happen again. Yeah, you're so right, Kitty. I'll see you two later. I want to check these things with Sam. Yeah. Sure. Now, Doc, how's the old man? Oh, uh, Homer Laidley? Yeah, and I think he's going to be all right. He twisted his leg when he went down, and, and he hit his head an awful crack. Yeah. I'm keeping him with me for a couple of days just to keep an eye on him. Yeah, that's good. We should come up and talk to him, Matt. Oh? Any special reason? And I'm afraid if you don't, this thing is going to happen all over again. Well, how's that? Well, this Homer isn't just an old fella who wanders around the town acting strange. Oh, no, he's perfectly sane. And he's quite serious about what he's doing. Now, he believes with everything that's in him that there's a lot of senseless killing and violence in places like God. Yeah, he's right about that. Of course he is. Of course he is. But he's bound and determined to wage a one-man campaign about it. See, he's going from town to town trying to 
put across his idea is wherever he goes. You mean he wants everybody to give up their guns? Huh? That's it. Yes. Not very likely, Doctor. No, it isn't. But he's completely dedicated about it. He's packing all of his worldly goods around with him. He has quite a sack of gold, and he's planning to spend the rest of his life trying to get men to give up guns. He's likely to get himself killed if he talks too much in a place like that. That's you're probably right, though, Doc. I better go have a talk with him, I guess. Yeah, I'm heading for the barbershop, so I'll walk away with you. All right, let's go. You know, Doc, if you get a haircut, nobody's going to know you. <laughs> you're a fine one to talk. You? Hmm? You've been listening or just swilling on that whiskey? I was listening when that marshal's around. Don't tell me what a man might do. <laughs> yeah, like now. Yeah, like now. Lou, mm-hmm. that old fella, that uh, that Homer, mm-hmm. sounds kind of interesting. You might want to get a little bit better acquainted sometime, huh? That's what I was thinking, Hair. <laughs> All right, then, Lou, you just finish your drink and... Uh, We'll think about it. And now, here are Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Bergen, why did you stop the car here? I want to talk to that farmer. Oh, Mr. Oh, you call me? What a mistake. Oh, where, where? Oh, who that's me? <laughs> Are there any General Motors dealers around here? Uh, no, no. No, but we got some Chevrolet, Pontiac, Oldmobile, Buick, and Cadillac dealers, though. And some Chevy and GMC truck dealers, too. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Those are all General Motors dealers. No! Well, what do you want to see them all for? Well, I only want to see one for Guardian Maintenance. Do they make that car, too? <laughs> no, that's a service that's available only at General Motors dealer service departments. Oh, I see. Yes. And right now, they're featuring complete lubrications, quality appearance services, brake adjustments, and front-end inspections. It's quality work performed by GM trained servicemen at a fair price. Oh, that makes good sense even to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dillon, just a bump on the head. I should be on my way. Doc usually knows what he's doing. You better stay a while if he says so. I'd be ungrateful if I didn't, sir. Oh, I'll stay until he releases me, of course. Oh, that's good. Um, you know a place around here? Oh, temporarily, Marshal, temporarily. You know the old Miller place? Oh, yeah, up north. It's been deserted. Isn't it? That's right, sir. I'm staying there till my work around Dodge City is completed. Your work? My mission, Marshal Dillon. Yeah. Uh, I came to talk to you about that. Oh? Well, I'd be glad to interest you in it, sir. It's, it's quite simple. Yeah. You want people to give up their guns, is that it? There's too much shooting and violence, Marshal Dillon. There are too many guns. You're right, Mr. Lately, there are. You mean you'll help me? No. What? Just won't work. Guns don't work, Marshal Dillon. I was there at the siege of Atlanta. All that burning and the pillage. Guns didn't do us any good then. Maybe not. There has to be a day when mankind puts its guns aside and the world will end in violence, destroyed by its own arms. Now that day may come, Mr. Lately. But right now, things are still raw and new around here. Man has to be able to protect himself. Shooting is no protection, Marshal Dillon. It's too early to make him believe that in Dodge. I must continue to try. 
Well, I'm asking you not to. But is there a law against you, sir? No, Mr. Lately, there's no law. But you could get hurt again. I'm fighting against violence, Marshal Dillon, but I'm not afraid. No, I guess you're not. But I kind of wish you were. <laughs> safe, gentle way to overcome irregularity caused by lack of bulk in your diet. 
It tastes good, too, and it, it never gets mushy in milk. There's only one all brand, Kellogg's All Brand. So relieve constipation the way millions do with Kellogg's All Brand. A double L hyphen B R A N. Yes, you're so right to stay regular with Kellogg's All Brand. Try it, okay? Okay. <laughs> And here you are, Miss Kitty. Marshal. Ah, oh, thank you, John. You're welcome. I wish I could buy you a better dinner for your birthday, Kitty, but this is about all Dodge has to offer. <laughs> That's all right, Matt. I don't want my birthday remembered too well anyway. <laughs> now, come on, Kitty. It's not that bad. It's that bad for a woman as soon as she gets out of her teens. Oh, good. I'm not a woman. <laughs> sure is. How's the old fellow at the docks, Matt? He gone home yet? Yeah, he went home yesterday. I just hope he stays there. Poor old man. He'd be all right. He just keeps from arguing with people. Well, I guess if you believe in something like he does, you can't keep quiet. Yeah, maybe not. He's right, you know. Oh, no, kidding. I know, I know. You can't take off your gun right now, but... But he's got the right idea. It makes me sick, men and their senseless gunfights. Well... Oh, man, lately has at least one follower. Yeah, he certainly does. It's awful lonely when the world won't listen to you. Yeah, I guess so. Good, he has friends. Friends? Mm-hmm. I didn't think he knew anybody in Dodge. Well, according to Chester, he does. Oh? Yeah. Chester said two men stopped and asked him all about Homer and how he was getting along and where he was, where he lived. And Chester told him. Well, sure. They asked Chester not to say anything to old Homer about it. They're going to surprise him. I think I better pay him a visit, too. Hmm? Any special reason, then? I'm not sure, Kitty, but it could be Homer's friends are making a surprise visit on his sack of gold. Sack of gold? Yeah, but Homer insists on keeping it with him. You're awful suspicious about people, aren't you? They could really be friendly, you know. Yeah, they could. But I still think I'll go out and visit Homer. Like this often in this part of the country? Yeah, it gets this bad and worse. 
Why don't you stay here the night? Why, you can't go out in that. Just look there. Why, you can't see ten feet in front of you. That may be right. Uh, can I put up my horse in the barn? Certainly, and welcome. There are oats and sacking to rub him down. And then come back here. You can bet down here for the night. Well, thanks, Mr. Lately. I'll be back as soon as I take care of my horse. <laughs> everywhere prefer ice-cold Pepsi-Cola. And because it's light, it refreshes without filling. Charlie, be sociable. I am, Kay. Pepsi is a favorite of thirsty people from Maine to Hawaii, from Alaska to Florida. Charlie. It's perfect for parties or picnics. So serve Pepsi to your guests. That's helpful. But... This is the sociable part. Keep plenty of Pepsi ice-cold and ready. Remember, it goes fast because everybody likes Pepsi. Singing still sounds more inviting. May I? Be sociable. Look back. Keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay up and stand. Everywhere. Be sociable. Have a Pepsi. But singing doesn't say pick up an extra carton of Pepsi today. Better yet, get a case. You do that. <laughs> Yeah. 
It is too soon for men to give up guns. No tonight it is. Someday, someday maybe. Yeah, Mr. Lately, maybe someday men will be walking on the streets of Dodge City without guns. But I'm afraid I won't live to see it. But somebody will, Mr. Lately. Howard McNair is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. 